Hi, today I would like to share with you about who can save us. Because of sin, men were totally separated from God and we are spiritually dead. Because of sin, we are disconnected to the Father. We are not His children anymore. Because of sin, we are not part of His kingdom. So the question is, who can give us a new life? The second one is that who can restore our relationship to our Father? And the third problem is that who can uh, help us that we can enter into the kingdom of God? So that's why man, we need a savior. We need someone who can save us. Because um, we are helpless because of sin. And nowadays, there's a lot of religion who claim that they are the true religion, that if you will be part of their religion, you will be safe. I'll tell you that there is no religion that can save us. There is no Baptist. There's no evangelical, there's no Catholic, there's no any uh, name of the local churches that can save us. Because there is only one Savior that can save us. The name of the local churches, they are just an organization, a local church that would help people to, to, to train and to guide but they are not they are not uh, the one who can save us they're not the one who can uh, give us new life can restore our relationship to the father and so that we can enter into the kingdom of God no so I'm gonna bring you I'll share to you John I'll give you a simple this uh, let's just focus in John chapter 3 and I will just give you four verses to make it simple and clear i'll just tell you if you will understand this and i can guarantee you that this is the um way when we understand who is jesus christ is and then uh, we can understand also the entire bible so the problem is who can give us life uh, who can restore our relationship to our Father and how can we enter into the kingdom of God? And there's only one solution. Only our Lord Jesus Christ. So let's try to read in John chapter 3 verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son. One and only Son. That whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life and that is the word of god that god sent jesus that whoever believe that jesus is the christ that jesus is the messiah that he jesus is god our savior we will have eternal life we have new life god will give us a new life it's the first promise and see, it says, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. So it means only Jesus can save us. So Jesus Christ did not come for the righteous, but Jesus Christ came for the unrighteous because. For those who will receive our Jesus Christ, He will give us new life. He will forgive us. And in 18, it says, Whoever believes in Him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. And whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. So I tell you that 
Only Jesus Christ can save us. He is the only Savior that can give us new life, that can restore our relationship to our Father, and He is the one, He is the door, He is the way where we can enter into His kingdom. And even before Nicodemus in John 3, uh, ahead of, uh, before of this, when Nicodemus asked, how can, um, uh, about the, how can a man can enter into the kingdom of God? Jesus Christ said, unless you will be born again, unless you will be born in water and spirit, and you can enter into the kingdom of God. The moment that we believe the Lord Jesus Christ, that He is the Christ, He is our Savior, there will be a regeneration happen to us. And that faith and that belief would result a genuine repentance. Because a genuine faith, a genuine belief will, res uh, will result a genuine repentance. There will be a totally change of 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 a man so without a real uh, belief so it's, that is a fake one so the moment that we believe our Lord Jesus Christ there will be a result there will be repentance that would happen to us and we will follow our Lord Jesus Christ because he is our Savior he is our Lord our Savior so God bless everyone. I hope and pray that this uh, message, this verse can help us and realize that only Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to the Father except through Lord Jesus Christ. God bless everyone.